So one thing that's happening right now, which is pretty cool, is a lot of people just busted out their phones after taking down their number and they're they're calling the offices. It's, I guess it's pretty much in mass. A lot of people, I imagine, are going to be going to answering machine. Um, but that's cool in the sense there's going to be a giant surge in calls to uh, the offices of these New Hampshire representatives about these issues uh, from a bunch of people that just got some clear and concise information about it, which is great. Um, so I was really impressed and surprised to hear and very glad to hear that uh, Representative Custer from here in New Hampshire and Custer uh, is she submitted a bill to make those ICE checkpoints only applicable within 25 miles of the border as opposed to the current hundred that the Supreme Court has given them, which is insane when you think about the fact that so much of the U.S. population, I forget what the percentage is, but it is a majority of the U.S. population that lives within a hundred miles of a U.S. border or ocean border. So the, uh, those checkpoints being able to be there is absolutely ludicrous. They even run them here in New Hampshire, up in usually close to Littleton on I-93. Um, which itself is not very close to the border at all. I, I'm, I'm not sure the distance, I forget if it's uh, 50 miles or 60 miles, but it's not an immediate uh, proximity to the border place, such as, uh, trying to think of some of those really north up there. I think Pittsburgh may be close to the border, Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. Um, but yeah, there's not very much Canada border with New Hampshire because of how thin the state is in the north. But. Um, it's awesome to see so many people uh, doing something right now that's going to go to these federal representatives. Often it seems like we can just shrug it off like they don't do anything, but that is awesome to hear that someone from here in New Hampshire, uh, one of our state representatives, is doing something that is very liberty-oriented, not just for undocumented people, but also for the people that get harassed at these checkpoints. I've been through one of them myself.